Hi, this is Karen McNall and I'm with inspiredbygram.com and today I'm bringing you another 2020 craft fair series and something I wanted to make in 2019 but again didn't get to it and um, what they are are these um, nice little journals uh, made with writing tablets that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree and what I have done differently from the ones I have done in the past is I created this little holder in the back it's like a slider so that these can the notepads can slide out and easily slide back in so I separate these they um, come I've, I'm sure a lot of you have seen them there are mini writing tablets and they come five to a pack and so what I do is I open up the package and I split them out so um, these you can just um, disregard and I take two and I simply separate them very carefully so you can get two out of um, one package and then this little piece here I'm gonna save for another project I'm not sure what I'm gonna um, do with it yet but stay tuned I'll have uh, something down the road for you guys so you um, will know what to do with this one if you need an idea. So um, again, that's, this is what we're going to create today. Let me show you a few that I have created. This one here. We're all using um, the Strong and Beautiful uh, Cling Stamp Set from Stampin' Up. And the reason I chose this one is I have a craft fair coming up in the end of March, so that's close to Mother's Day. Um, but this can also be, a lot of these sentiments here can be used like for graduation. So a little bit of a combination, uh, Mother's Day, graduation, maybe even birthday, a friend uh, gift. So, um, and actually end as teacher, teacher year, um, teacher gifts as well for the end of the school year. So let's just go over a few that I've made. I kind of, I've used the um, Pressed Petals Designer Series paper from Stampin' Up. It's just beautiful. This is the one we're gonna recreate today. Um, but I really love all the designs in um, the paper here. Just um, very like vintage, kind of lacy feel. Um, with the exception of this one, it's got the wood grain here, so you could simply turn this one into a masculine one by just changing out the cardstock and the sentiment as well. Um, here's just another one, a different, um, I use the rectangles um, stitch dies there. Another little fun die, and again, um, here's one here. So I'm gonna show you, this is the one I used to make. Um, and see how it's just permanent and you get pretty much one use out of this. So I thought, you know, these holders do last a while, so let's make something that we can reuse. And I know a lot of my customers like to be able to reuse um, their holders. So let's set all these aside and I am going to show you how to make this version here. So we'll need our paper trimmer. we we'll just pull that in. Okay, and um, I don't need to extend it because I've already cut the paper down. So this is a piece of um, blueberry bushel cardstock. You can see, I don't know if you can see the score lines on here. I've pre-scored it, but we'll score it um, this one. Um, anyway, I have cut this at eight and three eighths by five and a quarter, and you can get two um, holders out of one piece of cardstock. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, we're, I've done um, over, I think 26 I've gotten created, I've created so far, and I put little dots here on my paper trimmer so I know where the score lines are because we're working in eights and it's, visually it's really hard to see, um, but if I, since I put a dot there, it's much easier and that'll come off with some rubbing alcohol. So I'm just gonna use my um, scoring tool there and that is scored at three and five eighths and then I'm going to slide it to the left and this is scored at four and the last score line is going to be at four and three eighths so I'll go over those again with you on the long side you're going to score at three and five eighths four and four and three eighths okay so you're done with your trimmer and now we're just going to um, burnish the score lines here and we're just gonna go up and down 
I you really want firm score lines so your holder um, will stay flat for you. Okay, so we've got all three scored. And now what you're gonna do is find the middle score line. And then you're gonna see this um, little bit of space here. So that's going to be the front. And you'll need some uh, scissors to make your slot holder for the pen. I don't know if you noticed it here, um, but there is a pen here and there's a little holder as well. Just like on a lot of my holders I make, I, I usually put a, a pen in there. So we're just gonna snip right up to the score line and that's about an inch down from the top and then the holder's about a half an inch. Okay, and then we're gonna open this up and you're gonna want some uh, tear tape to um, use to keep or to make this stick. Regular adhesive is not gonna be strong enough. You're gonna want something that's really, really gonna hold. Um, so I really do like the Stampin' Up! Tear and Tape. I find it makes a really, really nice hold. Okay, so now you're just gonna peel those up. And then, this is the tricky part. Okay, you gotta make sure you get this correct. So you're gonna fold on the furthest score line on the right side all the way over. Okay, and then just give it a press. You can use your bone folder as well. And then to open it up, you're gonna bend this top score line to the left, give it a crease, and then just push it, this little slot holder out here with your finger, okay? And then you might just wanna give it another score or a crease. So now you can see that's where their pen is gonna go, okay? So that's the base of, of the holder. The next thing we're gonna do is we'll bring in um, two of these notebooks here. You're gonna want a piece of card matching cardstock, and this is cut one by about eight and a eight and a half, you know, eight inches. It doesn't really matter on the length as long as it's at least eight. I find at least it's eight. So you're just gonna slide that all the way to the top, and then I just simply um, fold it over. No need to do score lines because you can do it this way. And then again, you're going to want to use um, the tear tape. Uh, where's the end of it? There it is. Got it going the wrong way here. Okay, and then again, you're just going to put one on this end. And another one on this side here. And then just release the backing. And then gently fold it over. Okay, and give it a nice press. Now I'd like to, again, use the tear tape here. You can use it on the top or the bottom, um, or you can use the um, Tombow liquid glue as well. That will work too. But don't use your regular adhesive, you know, like this kind of adhesive because it's not gonna be strong enough and your, your holders, just, it's all gonna fall apart. So again, we're just gonna lift this up, the backing, super simple. Actually, this you can mass produce a lot of these um, in, a, in an afternoon. Now let's open up your holder and take your, your writing tablet and put it all the way to the left side. Okay, and then before you put it down, just check your top right and your bottom borders. You want about a, half, a quarter of an inch border on all of those three sides. Okay, just gonna give that a nice press with your bone folder. And there, now this is gonna come in and out. And so far, so good, S super easy. So let's bring in a piece of that designer series paper, it's beautiful. Um, again, um, this is called the Press Petals from Stampin' Up. This piece is cut three and three eighths by five. Again, that's three and three eighths by five. It's two-sided paper. And you're just gonna put your adhesive on all four sides. And I just like to put a little bit in the middle there, just about half an inch. And then just look at the directional of your paper, which way do you want it to go? I'm gonna think I'm gonna go this way just because those ferns are going up. And you're gonna want a quarter of an inch border on all four sides and press it down. Okay, so now in my last video, I used the Starburst Circle Punch and the two inch Circle Punch. We're using those again. I love to use my punches. So um, let's just bring these in because it's got a dark background here and you'll see my stamping. I'm using blueberry bushel ink. 
Again, that matches the cardstock. And we're gonna use one of those sentiments from Strong and Beautiful. If I can get this on. Perfect, see that really matches nicely. While we have the ink out, let's put the personalized information on the back. I always do that, uh, you've, I'm sure you've seen that on a lot of my videos. And I just like to put it down towards the center. Again, it's got my name, Inspired by Graham, Karen McNall, inspiredbygram.com. And since this is Stampin' Up! product, I need to abide by their angel policy. So I'm adding the Stampin' Up! logo there on the back side. So that way I can sell these. We are done with our ink. Let's close that up. We're almost done here. It's not too much longer here. We'll be done. So I'm just gonna add a T-sip on the back side of the two inch circle. And I've pre-punched a bunch of these out ahead of time. So when I'm mass producing, it goes super quick. All right, so now again, you're just gonna wanna put adhesive on the back side of the starburst. And then just find an area where you wanna put it. You could put it down low or middle. Um, I'm actually gonna just put it right in the middle here. I like, I like the sentiments kind of in the middle, unless the paper just really doesn't work but I think that looks really nice there. So then my pens, um, these are really hard to find and I had to go on Amazon to find them, but um, I bought these about a year ago. I'm not sure if they still exist or not, um, but they're mini ballpoint pens and I got 48 in a package of all different kinds. And um, I, what I like about these are, they're like one of those little button pusher things here, so that's kind of cool. And I'm just gonna pull out a blue pen because it matches nicely. They actually have some, uh, let's see, some clear ones in here. So those are kind of cool too. Um, and then we're just gonna slide that little pen holder in there. I like all my journals have a pen, so uh, make it really handy for the customer. So now how I have packaged these, um, let me just bring in, here's one here. This one doesn't have a sentiment on it. I just cut down the paper. And I, I package them in clear bags. So these um, bags, I purge cello bags at clearbags.com. I've got a package over here um, that I haven't opened yet. The item number is B54PC and they're four and five eighths by five and three quarters. I buy a bunch of these at one time, like a thousand of them. That way I can get a better discount. And on the back side of here, I've got my Avery label with all my information here. And you can, you can make lots of different um, labels. Um, they have thousands of templates. Um, so I find that website very handy. And then what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna slide it in one of those cello bags and tear off the backing there. And I like to push that down so this flat kinda sticks. Okay, and then I will bring in my labels. So here's all my labels. And just pull one off and then put it towards the top so that I'm not covering up my information. And then let me show you um, how I'm gonna display them. I think this is what I'm gonna do. I've, I found, a, I've got a bunch of these clear, clear tubs and they're actually to be used with your refrigerator. Um, this fits some cans of soda or whatever in them. So um, that's what I found to work nicely with these because you can kind of see through everything. Um, so once I get all these other ones packaged, they'll fit up nicely here. So um, for pricing, I think I'm going to go with uh, $3 each or two for five. Um, that's easy math for me. And I think they will sell and they're priced um, towards you know more towards other things in my booth so if you have any questions please leave a comment below please um subscribe to my email list there will be a link um, to do that as well and i won't spam you with the tons of tons of email um just because i i don't like lots of emails but if you want to stay connected by email i'd appreciate you uh signing up and to visit my website to purchase this um, product, you can go to inspiredbygram.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.